So Alex, my final question for you is, we know that searching for a job can take time. Sometimes it can be mentally draining and it's a roller coaster. And uh, I tell people, you know, have a schedule, uh, have time for you to go out, make, maybe go for a hiking, uh, go to the gym, as already we mentioned, you know, go for a coffee with a friend. But still, it's draining, especially sometimes here in a small communities in St. John's, where sometimes opportunities are not that much. So in that sense, what tips do you have to people to stay here and find more opportunities? Yeah, I think uh, you you hit the nail on the head. St. John's, we're not the biggest of cities. Mm -hmm. We're not the smallest either. Uh, I think you need to kind of frame your job hunt when you're looking in St. John's, maybe a little bit different than what you would maybe in a Toronto, a Montreal, or yeah. Vancouver. Where you can succeed here with your job hunt is finding those connections, mm -hmm. finding those connections that matter. And again, going back to maybe an earlier answer is finding your people. Yeah, uh, We have so many, only so many roles to go within this province. We have only just over 500,000 people. Uh, so there's only five amount of roles. So, but finding those networking events yeah. that are on the go, because I do feel that our community is quite vibrant. We have yeah. so many events. Uh, we have a lot of things that are happening on the go in this city all the time. You just need to find them. Yeah. And you never know when that one connection can really Indeed. lead to the next, yeah. to the next, to the next. Yeah. And I do feel that Newfoundland and Labradorians are quite helpful mm -hmm. when it comes to connecting you onwards to the next person. Yeah. So maybe you are on a LinkedIn kind of look a -roo, I'll say, yeah. and you are connected, you have a first connection to a person that you're trying to connect with as a second yeah. and you say oh that that's a person i'd really like to meet no I'd really yeah. like to explore their career uh you ask that first connection hey uh hey dylan will say um do you know that person and dylan will say yes of course i've met them on this and this would you would you mind maybe introducing us yeah. like i i would love to ask them a couple questions and I would say more often than not, I can't guarantee it, of course, yeah. but more often than not, you know, a lot of people will take that extra step because it doesn't take much to yes. connect them on. Like an and it, exactly. And then after that, they're off the hook. Yeah. It, it's up to you to it's kind of figure you, out where to go yeah. with it. Uh, but I think you just need to be a little bit smarter with your connections because mm -hmm. that's not so easy in Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, those MTV cities, you, you can't fall upon that as easily. Yeah. Uh, so, but, uh, and that, but I do get that it's taxing and yeah. I get that those roles aren't always coming up. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always think that you should constantly trying to meet new people because yes. you never know when that one person that you've met thinks about you again yeah. and says, oh, you know, I, I met Alex three, four months ago for a coffee. They were quite interested in this career. We actually have that role coming up now. Well, yeah. I, I, I think I should probably reach out to them and see yeah. what where they're at. And yeah. it, it's a longer game. And I think that's where people get mentally drained more. Mm -hmm. But it will likely help pay off if you're willing to look yes. at the long-term play strategy mm -hmm. to it. I said to the students, you know, during your study times, it's a perfect time to network. Again, maybe mm -hmm. identify 10 to 20 companies here in St. John's that you want to work. Uh, find uh, people who are already working there. Build relationship. Again, as we mentioned earlier, don't ask them for a job. Build a relationship. And after a while, you can say, hey, by the way, Alex, I saw that you guys are hiring uh, can you refer me or something like that? Because a lot of companies have referral programs and recruiters like referrals because they trust those people and they will give them a chance. Yeah, no, you, you're very right. Uh, and even within all my career, 
I, I will look at referrals amongst the highest caliber of uh, applications because it's someone that's vouching for them. Yeah. Someone knows them, so yeah. they can speak to their character and speak to them as individuals. So I often will at least connect with them and talk to them yeah. after that. Yeah. Those are great tips, Alex. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation, very practical tips. So for the audience, if you have more tips, you can leave them below and tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you. Again, thank you, Alice, and see you around. Bye, everyone. Thank you.